Movies from Mental Health is a virtual workshop that uses a part of film to unite the folks to community, connection, and workshop. This online experience will feature an anonymous chat-based discussion on mental health and stigma, a screening of three award-winning short films, and a panel of lived experience speakers and mental health resources. So doing uh, programs such as Art with Impact is really important and it really helps because what we do is we uh, talk to students uh, and, and faculty and anybody that comes about mental health and the stigma that goes around mental health. Because a lot of people, you know, they're worried about, well, maybe I have a mental health problem, but I don't want to talk about it. Or maybe I don't want to get counseling or whatever. But we try to normalize mental, like it's, it's okay to not be okay. And we show films, uh, real films of, of uh, student-made films that are really good that sort of get at the issue of wellness and mental health and self-care, try to get at the issue of stigma that's, you know, like I said, it's like basically okay to, to not be okay. And it's really compelling because the movies are really sharp. They're really good. They're, you know, we vet them, we look at them really closely, we try to be sensitive to cultural issues and that sort of thing. And, and we're able to sort of get the, get the basic um, feelings and important information across by using art and film and that's one of the the great ways because a lot of people uh, can watch a movie but not a lecture and they can get something out of it and they have a chance to talk about it afterwards five college student athletes in less than two months have died by suicide five young people who couldn't hold on for one more day five families grieving five teams coping and now the whole college nation is talking about it. So colleges are finally realizing that um, college is stressful to start with. And, but if you have anything else going on besides college, you can get to the point where you even think about suicide. So we know that college is stressful. We used to sort of say, well, you know, it's not, or, or it's not important, but we know now that people come to college, they have mental health issues, they have anxiety, they have they have depression, maybe they've been traumatized, maybe they have something going on with their family, they have economic stress, you know, they have relationship stress. So we know college students have these problems, but we never really paid much attention to them until we noticed that every year, 1,200 college students take their life. So that's every single year. So what we started noticing, like here at College of the Canyons, like almost three students per year were killing themselves. And we said, well, you know, we really have to do something here. So we're doing everything we possibly can to provide mental health services, but also to provide training and opportunities for not just students, but faculty and staff to learn about mental health so that we can all kind of make it, make the climate here conducive to mental health, but also um, realize it and make it okay to have mental health issues and be able to reach out and get some help. May is the time to raise awareness of those living with their mental or behavioral health issues and to help reduce the stigma that so many experience. So every year during May, we honor, uh, we basically say May is Mental Health Month. So we, across the country, we try to pay attention to the fact that people have mental health issues, people are, uh, need to be aware of mental health issues, both of them, maybe themselves, their friends, their family, uh, and in the community. So all across the nation, we talk about May as being mental health. So it give us, gives us a little extra uh, incentive to proclaim that, but also to do some events. Like, so we have Ask the Psychiatrist coming up next week. We have Art with Impact coming up this week. We have uh, Suicide Prevention coming up next week also. So we try to do all kinds of things. We have weekly workshops. So we have all kinds of things that are going on during May so that we bring attention to mental health and mental health awareness, try to address the stigma that goes around having a mental health problem, but also getting help for a mental health problem. So pay particular attention to uh, mental health during May. CLC has plenty of resources for anyone dealing with mental health issues on the website and at the Student Wellness Center as well. From Canyon News, I'm Shakira Latin.